I just wanted to <clears throat> show that there was, there is an issue with the air conditioning system. It does have a slow freon leak, and I wanted to show you that the the system works. Um, I just started the car not too long ago. I brought a thermometer. I don't know if you can you can read that. It says 70 degrees. I just got the AC set to 70, 60, 9 and 71. So um, if I put it in there, um, it's going cold. Um, I did want to show you one thing while that's cooling off. You can see it's already down to 64 degrees. Uh, I'm going to turn the temperature down to 66. I just turned down to 64 so the fan kicks up a little bit. And you can see the temperature of the AC system. You know, it's going down. It's going to take a while for that uh, thermometer to respond. It's not that it's not cold. It just takes a while for that actual thermometer to respond. It's something out of our kitchen. My wife uses it to make bread. Um, but I was also going to show you the setup of the AC. Um, there's, if you go down to the setup button, but one of the things that people don't know is the, this is how you turn the synchronization on. Um, so that's the sync. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. And then I can go on. And when you do that, you have to use the left button. If, if all of a sudden now I get out of the menu, which I do by the setup, and when you're setting up the HVAC, you have to use this button, the MMI button won't work. Um, you can see the AC is down to 48 right now and still going down. And then uh, I'll go back to set up, all right? And the synchronization is on. So I'll get back out of it. So what it does is now if I adjust these temperatures, um, it just automatically adjusts both of them. But then as soon as you adjust the other one, the synchronization turns off, okay? Um, just to show you the AC, it's going down to 47 degrees. It's a... Uh, it's 71 degrees out right now. It's overcast, but the AC system works in the car. It's charged, but it does have a refrigerant leak. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you on the setup, if you go back to the setup and there is an option for center air vent and it has, well, let's just try it. Right now we're at about 46 degrees. And if I go and go to warmer, so that's the setting you're gonna put it on in the winter and the cooler is what you're going to put it on during the summer so you get that cool or warm air out of the center vent uh, just because i've got this thing on low temperature let's just now let's get out of the setup i'm going to go back to uh i'm going to go back to a temperature of more like 70 degrees and let's see what happens so it was 46 and it's set up for a warmer temperature. So it's increasing the temperature, which is not hard to believe just because it's got to try to control the 70. Uh, and then if I go back down, you know, then we can watch the temperature. It's all the way back up to, to 60 and it's probably going to start turning back down to, now it's going back down again. It's just that thermometer so uh, slow reacting. And I'm also at idle with, you know, only the fan with the air going over the condenser. But you can see the, the whole system is responding back again. So I just want to show you that the AC system does work. It's just a refrigerant leak. There's nothing physically wrong with the system.